Hello friends, today we will discuss about the stop and bait protocol. So what is the stop and bait protocol? So under the reliable condition or how we will transfer a packet over the network reliably means how we will ensure the delivery of the packet is reliable. So that provided by the stop and wait protocol techniques or methods. So we will see here the how this mechanism work. Definition of stop and wait protocol is it is a technique to provide the reliable transfer of packet under unreliable packet delivery system. So that is the definition of stop and wait protocol. So what are the things by which we have to measure the reliable delivery of the packet system? So it says means we can say the properties property of this mechanism are each packet should have an unique number and the second property is each second property is sender will send the sender will send the next packet after receiving an acknowledgement an acknowledgement for an acknowledgement of previous send packet so that is the property of stop and wait protocol that is the second property now the third property is third property all the first and second and second scenario second point second step should be complete within a fixed time duration. Means the third property says that the time is very important means the receiver should an acknowledgement within a time duration so these are the three properties first one is each packet when the sender send a packet to the receiver it should have an unique number and the second property says that sender will send the next packet to the receiver after receiving the previous send packet acknowledgement and the third property says that the second step should follow the or should be executed within the time fixed time duration means it should be allocated uh, suppose it is the time is uh, allotted for 0.1 second so it should the acknowledgement should be received by the sender within a time duration 0.1 second otherwise it will understand that packet already lost 
so in that case the pack, uh, sender send a same packet to the receiver again while after receiving the acknowledgement so that is very important so this property makes the stop and bait protocol in easily manner and provide the reliable delivery of system now in the stop and bait protocol we will have in few issues or in that case what is the uh, issue arise in that scenario or in that mechanism so first one issue is first issue issue one is sender send a packet that is the receiver that is the sender uh we can say that is the issue or for example we have to say what is the actual mechanism so after that we will see what is the issue of that one so firstly we will see here the mechanism of sender uh, mechanism of stop and bait broker how this work suppose we have to say already sender provide a send a packet suppose that is the packet packet 1 that is the one is the unique number that is the assigned by the sender before sending a packet to the receiver so here we we, we will receive an packet 1 and that receiver send an acknowledgement for particular packet acknowledgement 1 so it will ensure that the packet 1 is already received by the receiver so sender will understand that the packet already packet is reliable reached or packet is already sent to to the receiver or destination so that is the within time duration time may be 0.1 0.01 milli second now it may be anything so the fundamental or uh, basic issue of this this type of scenario known as the stop and bait protocol so after receiving that acknowledgement sender again send a packet packet 2 that is the unique number of their second packet and same scenario it will also receive the acknowledgement 2 so this is known this scenario is known as stop and bait protocol stop and bait protocol why we are saying that is the stop and bait protocol its name indicating that sender here send a packet and bait this time duration here is it have to bait for a particular time to receive an acknowledgement and after receiving an acknowledgement sender again send a second packet and bait for a particular time for a receiving acknowledgement so it this process known as the reliable delivery of system so that's why this is known as the reliable transfer of the packet so this is known as the stop and bait protocol scenario in this protocol this stop and bait protocol also have in such an issue so we will discuss these issue in the next video in the second part of the stop and bait protocol thank you for watching this video kindly subscribe more videos thank you